Hello, and thank you so much for tuning in to my regular tip video. Mm -hmm. I'm Sue Jacobs, owner of Personal Style Wardrobe and Image Consulting, and I am here to share something that I know you will want to hear about depending what part of the hemisphere you live in. Right now, today, where I live, it is September 1st. It is the first beautiful day. For me, it's fall. In uh, other hemispheres, it is the first day of spring. So we are going to talk, I am going to share with you a very favorite of mine, wardrobe basic, a wardrobe staple, and that is cardigans, so sweaters. And why am I speaking about that today? I will share with you that it is on the trend list and if you do receive my newsletter you realize that I am really not focusing on trends so much because really they're not that relevant however what is relevant is that you may have some of these gems in your wardrobe we still want to know I mean we all want to know what is trending and what is popular for this season fall winter here and I do have some new ones to show you because you may think that you have something like this in your wardrobe so there are as always unfortunately there are always new versions to the trends right however we want to make sure that if you pull it out of your wardrobe you actually are wearing the current version so with this season, we are seeing oversized cardigans, much the same as you will see in your outerwear styles, blazers, really oversized, exaggerated. And in the cardigans, it's, it's kind of fun. It's reminiscent of boyfriend sweaters, if you recall that trend. Maybe that was three or four years back. And, or we are going to see cute cropped sweaters. Don't think belly cropped, but just think shorter versions and why. This is all about one of my favorite topics, layering. And I have spoken about layering with jewelry, layering with color, but this is about layering in terms of depth of your visual appearance so that your image speaks loudly about you before you say a word. What does layering do? It actually adds that intrigue to your outfit. It can be a conversation starter. And let's not forget the practical applications of layering. Different kinds of climate changes within environments are one of the reasons that layering started in the first place. But we're talking about cardigans specifically today, so sweaters that button up. Now, I have been in virtually in some of my clients' wardrobes and have removed shorter sweaters. Here's why. If you have a cropped sweater, so a short sweater, that would be around your hip length, you don't want the body of it to be round. And a lot of them have that a little bit of a billowy shape. That isn't current. That will actually date your sweater. So the current trend is, again, that linear boxy shape, only more fitted, a little more structure, but they're actually more flattering because if you're curvy and the hemline of your sweater is also billowy, it does exaggerate your curves. So you may or may not want that aspect. I want to show you uh, this one, and I love Skulls, any Alexander McQueen fans out there, the late designer who was one of the greatest. This is from a company called uh, Skull Cashmere. I'm just going to cover my face for a minute. So this is what I mean by a short, boxy body. And you can see that's going to be very versatile. You have longer tops that you will layer underneath these types of cardigans. That's one of the trends. So a shorter sweater. And then there are those oversized, very oversized, unstructured, longer, look like cigarette jackets. I will show you. And then there are the third type of cardigans, which I'm thrilled about to see in the marketplace again you know popular are the long to your ankle duster cardigans 
Oh my goodness. We love those. They are fun to wear and they are still here. And I want to say to you, a lot of you ladies who will say, oh my gosh, I can't wear all of those layers. It's important that you wear the right underpinning so that you don't experience the uncomfort, the discomfort that comes with overheating or sleeves being stuck and smushed under another sleeve. That's not comfortable. That doesn't work for me and I know it doesn't work for you. So what does layering also, this third piece, this wardrobe third piece, adds that finished look, that polish, if you will, that feeling put together. And if you're in the younger version crowd on fleek, bueno. So that is what happens when you add that third piece. It says that you are finished dressing, you have made the effort, and that you're aware that that number three, that third piece is adding that extra oomph. Okay, so I am going to switch the camera and show you. Now I do want to say some of these are from my closet. I will indicate that. I have one cardigan here, short one, that is probably 15 years old. So this is what I'm saying. If you can dig into your closet and pull out some of the old gems that you may not have disposed of, you've kept them for whatever reason, maybe you love them and you're still wearing them, that will work right now. And I, I will tell you what I noticed in my selection of sweaters. Um, I have, they're all dark. So I don't want to encourage that, but right now the deliveries for fall are running behind because we're kind of slow in the seasons right now. Still lots of summer product there. So you will be seeing beautiful shades of cinnamon and russet and burgundy and those type of colors. And those are beautiful to add to your wardrobe. Okay, so let's just, I'm gonna just grab this and we're gonna switch, okay. So way up high there. So look at the body of this sweater. You see that it is not rounded at the hemline. Love this animal print, little cardigan. And you know what? These types of wardrobe pieces can be worn casually or you can dress them up. So we're not encouraging you to purchase anything that you're not gonna wear. That would be silly. If you're online, doing lots of online um, meetings and appointments and conferences, then you, you will be visible from the waist up. These are great little add-ons to show that you are professionally dressed for your audience. Love that. And it's a nice V-neck, universally flattering. Thank you, Channers, for that beautiful ooh, cashmere little cardigan. Now, I'm this is, this is mine. This is the one that is about 15 years old. This is the back of this cardigan. It is navy blue. It's absolutely one of my favorite, favorite cardigans. And luckily for me, it has the right body. So I will be able to wear this confidently. And you know, these are great with little tanks underneath them, a wide strapped tank, ladies. So if your sweater does slide off your shoulder, you're not seeing the bra strap. It's a quite wide, a three inch tank is what I'm referring to. So, so, you know, don't give up on sweaters that are in your closet, pull them out and see if they'll work. Okay. And this is another one of my cardigans. You can tell that I do believe in the third piece. I'm very much about layers. And again, I think probably five, six years old, and this is black, but I love that it has sheer panels here in the deep, gunmetal gray, mustard, and the cream, which are all three colors I cannot wear near my face, but it makes for an interesting style detail on this cardigan. Again, long linear body. You can see that in all three of these, even though they're all very, very different sweaters. Okay, now this one is beautiful navy blue. You can see that. This is new from Channers. Beautiful cotton, big patch pockets. You can see there are no closures, no buttons, no zippers. This is a great coat sweater. Lots of you ladies that run warm, perfect for you if you're scooting around, always in your car. I love the details here. Look at this under the arm and the buttons actually will undo. So that can become a great tunic. 
uh, over some plaid leggings maybe, and you can wear a cotton slip dress underneath it. Lots of possibilities here. And if you're a classic woman, this, this has a place in your wardrobe if you don't have something like it. And navy, there's going to be lots of navy. If you love navy, if you can wear it, most people can, you might wanna pick that up this season if you need it. Okay, here's what I was referring to in terms of the long duster cardigan. This is mine. I absolutely love it. So look at this, see how long it is? And it's great mm. because it doesn't matter if you are short like I am, 5'1". I'm gonna say 5'2 and probably 5'1". Anyway, or if you're taller, 5'7", because where this hits you, is going to be perfect for you and the beautiful thing about this cardigan is are the side vents now let me see if the light will grab it you can see that here if you are someone with a feminine or sensual style personality this works because when you wear it this floats beautifully along the body i absolutely adore this sweater it is a lightweight cotton which i like all year round because i am always warm and you can see the fine detail ribbing and i wear this with jeans i will wear it with a black long maxi skirt that's fitted super versatile um i've saved the best till last this is exceptional made in italy thank you channers again for this look at this sweater this is what i'm saying oversized long almost i do feel that it's kind of like those smoking jackets back in the day this is absolutely stunning it is cashmere and this is a deep marine navy and cream and look at the detailing on the buttons buttons have personality this is a beautiful fabric you can't tell from the video but here we go and the sweater has the contrast details. Very mm. collegiate, very uh, sort of reminiscent, I would say, of the 70s. I like it. This, for me, perfect with a knit skirt. And all you'd want to see is an inch of that skirt. So here we go. I'm just going to go back. I love, of course, I love uh, cardigans. And some are buttoned, some aren't. Some are old, some are detailed, some are pretty. Some are sexy and snazzy and everybody should have some animal print in their wardrobe like that guy. So that is um, actually what I wanted to share about cardigans. And as I said, oops, sorry, as I said, I'm not really promoting the trends. I want to be respectful. So many people are just getting back to work and getting things back on track. Now we have children going back to school. Lots of anxiety out there. We don't need to add more. But if you are someone who needs to move forward in your image and you do want to make an impact at your budget, at your pace, uh, this type of piece will have long staying power in your wardrobe, regardless of your style personality, regardless of your budget, you can find something to work with your budget. I have to say, you can see 15 years old, six years old, you know, and they just keep getting better. I do want to say that you do get what you pay for. If you have a crowded closet and you, you're wanting to add a longer cardigan, make sure that you don't ram it into your closet because the less expensive fibers will pill and then you won't get the wear from that garment and that will be to me unfortunate because then your money's wasted and you won't have that sweater to finish your look so what i would like to say is i feel the cotton cardigans that i have here i wear them all year round i feel and this is true for anything the darker the color the more you can get away with wearing it long past the season and that doesn't count for white jeans though, right? Because you know what I feel about that. I do want to share with you that I had the privilege last week of hosting my first master class. If you do get my newsletter and you are watching this on YouTube, you know about that. Uh, and the ladies, there were 20 registered and some had their cameras off. We had a great time, a lot of information shared and the, here's the thing, we were talking about wearing your basics, wearing one plain item that you have in your wardrobe and trying to look at it with new eyes, reinvent it so that you can wear these pieces more often 
and you can get the value. It's not about more, more, more. It's about thinking, how can I get more wear out of what I have? And if you're purchasing th something, think, how can I wear that item in a variety of ways? And, you know, I just feel that's a prudent way to approach what I'm doing, what I'm adding to my wardrobe. And I'm definitely encouraging you to follow that pattern and trend of thought. I am going to be, and I haven't started to broadcast this yet on social media platforms, hosting another masterclass. It will be eight weeks in length. It will be starting mid-September, Thursday evenings. And it's called Accessorize You because if you looked at those two my favorite sweaters the style details on both whether it was the beautiful painting on the back of the cardigan or the very the three sheer panels that were inset into the cardigan those are style details those become an accessory accessories are what make your pieces very versatile one plain dress you can reinvent it so many ways. And what I'm so excited about in this accessories series is the first two classes. I am going to be helping you discover your own personal style words. That's a style appointment that I typically do in person or online with new clients. I am going to be doing that uh, with women in this abbreviated version there will be homework and I will have homework and we're going to learn from each other. I have two wonderful guests that will be appearing during those eight weeks, that series, and I will be sharing this on Monday, how you can get involved. If you build your accessories wardrobe, you do not need a large clothing wardrobe. Excuse me, wardrobe. And I think if you know me, you know I'm an accessory queen i love when people get it about accessories because that's when you can start your signature style you can start saving money on clothes that don't work because your accessories will do the work for you so if you are not signed up for my newsletter please go to my website and you can click right there personalstyleconsulting.com and i thank you for watching this video and if you would like to share that would be amazing till next time stay safe wear your mask oh and it's so nice to not be able to have to wear it right now and actually have lipstick on and tune in next week thanks so much